Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about how to construct the items of LR1. In our previous classes, we already discussed about uh, LR of 0 item constructions. Uh, this is exactly similar. Only few modifications are there. We will discuss those modifications and we will do an example. Please watch our previous classes LR of 0 construction and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, uh, let's take an example given grammar. This is the grammar S tends to capital C, capital C, C tends to small c, capital C or D. So, in our LR of 0, we have done the same thing for the given grammar. We have to write the augmented grammar. Why we need to write the augmented grammar? There we have discussed that we have to add an extra production S dash tends to S because after completion of S, we, there is a dollar symbol. In, in order to identify that, we are adding an extra production for S dash tends to S. The same thing we will do here. And coming to the example, with this example, we are going to construct the items of LR1. So LR1 is LR of 0 with the look ahead symbol. One says that we are looking ahead one symbol. That is what the meaning of LR of uh, uh, 1 here means. L means uh, check the input from left to right. R means uh, doing the right, uh, giving the rightmost derivation in reverse order. That is what LR This is a bottom up parser. We have discussed what LR means in, when we discussed about the bottom up parser. Now coming to that, uh, coming to the item generation. So we will start from I naught. I naught means uh, we will do the state diagram here. S dash tends to dot S comma dollar. So S dash tends to dot S. We know we already know what dot means. We are starting at this production. Yes. After completion of yes, what's the look ahead symbol that we are going to see after S? That is what we added here. This is not there in LR of zero items. Here we are adding look ahead symbols. And there we have done two actions. One, we are identifying the closure. Second thing, we are doing the go to. Go to means transitions. So there is a difference in identifying the closure. What's the difference? Let's try to understand with this example. Closure means dot is present before the non-terminal. Yes, yes is a non-terminal. So dot is present before non-terminal. What we have to do? We have to add the productions of yes. That is what closure means. So we need to add how we do that closure s dash tends to. So dot s comma dollar look ahead symbol is dollar for the first one. So we need to add the productions of yes. Yes tends to dot capital C capital C. So what's the look ahead symbol for why we got this look ahead symbol dollar for this production that we are going to understand now. Two steps are there. So we are writing the closure for yes. So after yes in this production after s is there any symbol in the production? No. After s there is no symbol in the production. So that's why the same dollar look ahead symbol will be placed here this is the first condition we are writing the closure for yes that's why after yes is there any production any symbol in the production no there is no symbol so the same look ahead symbol will be placed here so the dot is present before capital c capital c means non-terminal we have to add the closure of c so c c tends to dot small c capital c what's the look ahead symbols here CRD. Why we got it CRD? This is the second condition. How we do that? So we are writing the closure for C. After C, what's the symbol that present after C? Capital C. We have to write the first of capital C. First of capital C is CRD. So why we are writing the first of capital C? The logic itself uh, with the meaning of first symbols after c what's the symbols that we are going to encounter that is what look ahead symbols means how we get that symbols by using first of c in the in the in the discussion about first of c what's the first of c is going to give the first terminal symbol that is it is going to encounter with c that is what the first of c means so after this c what's the look ahead symbols that we are going to encounter is first of c that is what we have written. So first of C is CRD. So the look ahead symbols for this production is C tends to dot small c capital C CRD. C tends to another production is also there. C tends to dot D. 
comma look ahead symbols are crd this is how we write the productions for closure of the given production so two steps are there what's the two steps first step when we are writing the closure of yes after yes there is no symbol in the production so the same look ahead symbols will be written here after writing the production closure of c after c there is a symbol what's the symbol capital c is there so we have to write the look aheads from first of c first of this symbol that is what the two conditions is so this is how we write the closure go to statement is go to means we are writing the transitions means after moving yes what's the transition we are getting after with yes means after moving yes s dash tends to yes dot dot is moving to the next of yes so what's the symbols that are what the look ahead symbols present here dollar so the same dollar will be added in i not in lr of zero we don't have this look ahead symbols here exactly we are moving the same we are doing the same thing but here the look ahead symbols are there those look ahead symbols come here that's it there is no change in go to statement only there is change in closure so what's those conditions we already discussed this is this is the way we have to construct the I all the items for LR of 1. How we construct? Let's take this example. We are going to construct all the items. So we are starting from I0. We already discussed about this I0. How we define this I0. On this, we need to do the action of go to. Means the transitions has to be identified. By moving, by go to, on transition of yes, we are getting that yes test tends to yes dot comma. Look at symbol is dollar. So this is, this production is completed. Completed means no need to do any action. The, and on this, if you find dollar means accepted state. The, so this discussion already discussed because this is added production. This is not the production in our actual grammar. So after completion of this, if you find dollar means acceptance state. Now coming to this, moving, go to on C. After moving C, we will get that S tends to C dot C comma dollar so we need to dot is present before capital c means before non-terminal we need to add the closure of that c closure of that c means c tends to dot small c capital c what's the look ahead symbol after c in the above after c there is no symbol present in the production so the same look ahead is added here that's why c tends to dot d comma dollar so this is i2 state same way on this in this i0 state small c go to on small c small c means c tends to c small c dot capital c comma c comma d c or d look at symbols are c or d so dot is present before c we need to add the closure of c closure of c means c tends to dot small c capital c comma why we got this look ahead symbols after this c there is no symbol if there is no symbol means add this symbols what's the what's the look ahead symbol c or d the same symbols has been added c tends to dot d comma c or d this is how we got the i3 state go to on d go to on d means the last one c tends to d dot comma what's the look ahead symbols c or d so this is how we provided i1 i2 i3 and i4 similarly we need to continue for i1 there is no need to continue for i1 because it is completed i2 has to be expanded i3 has to be expanded i4 is completed now coming to i2 after moving on c means go to on c we are getting that s tends to c c dot this is completed comma what's the look ahead symbol here dollar so this is completed i5 is completed on this small c if you take the small c after moving to c small c c tends to small c dot capital c comma dollar symbol so dot is present before the non-terminal we add the closure of c c tends to dots small c capital c how we got this dollar after this c there is no symbol so we need to add the same symbols as a look ahead symbol so dollar is added c tends to dot d comma dollar so i6 state similarly on this state we are going moving on d 
after moving on d c tends to d dot comma dollar this is i7 state this is completed no need to extend similarly we are going to do on this state on this state we are having a we are taking that uh, after moving on c we are getting that c on moving on means go to on capital c c tends to small c capital c dot it is completed and the look ahead symbols are c or d on this moving on small c we are getting the same state the same symbols are coming that's why we are self looping on this if you move on small d go to on small d we are getting this state that's why on we are moving to i4 state here small d similarly we need to expand this because this is completed 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 only remaining is this one on this if you move on c we will get this state i9 state if you move on small c we are getting the same symbols if you move on d we are getting this state this is how we need to construct everything is finished this is how we need to construct lr of one items one important point you have to understand here that's important point is number of states in lr of one is always greater than or equal to lr of zero why it is greater than or equal to number of states in lr of for the same grammar if you construct lr of zero definitely you will get less number of states why we are getting more number of states in lr of one items let's try to understand that point see here c tends to c small c dot capital c c tends to dot small c capital c c tends to dot d productions are same in this state and in this state what's changing here look ahead symbols are changing here look ahead symbols are crd here look ahead symbols are dollar in lr of zero we don't have this condition if productions are same we don't write an extra state we use that state means definitely because of look ahead symbols differences in look ahead symbols we are getting more number of states in lr of zero these two will be combined because there is no look ahead symbols productions are same same productions means we are moving we will take only one state that's why in lr of one item construction we are getting a more number of states when compared to lr of zero so this is the important point you have to understand hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you